The observer just watches to see what's going on. And not making a story about it or a judgment about it, just watching what's going on with other people, with situations, with the world. We don't have to be so emotionally involved. doesn't take being even an enlightened master to be this masterful self that you are right here, right now. Just by being in the observer state. This is the first step. Then comes watching the observer and the observed. From that point of view, right now, just be in a state of observer. And see how in this place there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing to fix. There's nothing to understand. There's nothing to know. And you're right here. It's peace. Right here. It's peace. So open your eyes now. And observe the room from this place, from this state of being. Look at objects, things, colors, people. Whatever it is. And notice how it's different. In a way, the colors are brighter. In a way, everything's more intense. You can even see the life force of things. And all you have to do is just stop doing anything in your mind. Just watching, observing. This is like instant enlightenment right there. Want to know the shortcut? Just observe. And participate and nudge and do something here and there where you feel like you can help someone in their way or in their spiritual path. If you can help someone, fine. Yeah. But then stand back again and be the observer. Without opinions about how things should be. Without ideas about what's right and wrong. And that doesn't mean don't interfere if you see something that's wrong. You do, because you're part of God's self that wants to create a better world. Wants to create a nicer world. Because there is. This part of God that wants to create this beautiful world. Just as there is this part of God that wants to explore what being a bad guy is at the same time. It's just part of this exploration of self that this one being is doing. So be the part that does take action when it's necessary, but any other time. Observer state. And the observer doesn't think about anything. You <coughs> tell stories in its head about what's going on. The observer just watches to see what's going on. And not making a story about it or a judgment about it, just watching what's going on with other people, with situations, with the world. We don't have to be so emotionally involved. It doesn't mean that emotions and being in this human state 
of feeling things, good or bad, isn't also part of the experience. But there's times. Just step back. And don't be so emotionally involved in what's going on. And this gives you a chance to truly see what's going on. When you don't have your personal touch on it, your personal flavor, your rose-colored glasses that see it a certain way. 